Honeywell Portable Gas Detection presents the Impact Pro. In this video we will review operation, calibration, including the enforcer, and basic maintenance. Honeywell Analytics provides a wide range of portable gas monitors both single and multi-gas under the Lumidor as well as BW Technologies by Honeywell brand. Lumidor Impact Pro Multi-Gas Monitor. Four gas series that you see here includes oxygen, LEL, CO, and H2S. Operation. Powering up the monitor. To turn the monitor on, press the on-off button for approximately three seconds until the LEDs light up and the display comes on. The instrument will show the configuration. When first turned on, you will have the opportunity to change the operator and location. It should be turned on in a fresh air environment. And you will be asked if you would like to zero the sensors, also to confirm that you are in fresh air. By pressing the check mark, you will go through the self-test and auto zero functions of the monitor. This process takes approximately 30 seconds. After auto zero, the display returns to normal operating mode. Turning off the monitor. To turn off the monitor, simply press and hold down the red on off button until the monitor turns off. Gas alarms. The Impact Pro has multiple alarms for each sensor, including low, high, and for the toxic. STEL, short-term exposure limit, and time-weighted average based on a 15-minute and 8-hour time, respectively. Checking the peaks, STELs, and time-weighted average as well as the time and date. Simply press the up or down arrow to cycle through the peaks, averages, and TWA. You can also view time and date. User menu. To enter user menu, press the green check mark button. Once in the user menu, you can access the flammable library, you can calibrate the monitor, change operator and location, extract instrument information, as well as enter the safe link mode. The pump plate simply clips on to the top of the instrument as shown here in the video. Bump testing. To bump test the monitor with the pump plate attached, first check for a low flow by blocking the pump's flow rate and getting the warning on the display. Bump testing the sensor, simply apply the cylinder of gas for approximately 10 to 15 seconds 
ensuring all sensors go into alarm and you have the proper lights and horn. Disconnect gas and allow the monitor to purge. If latching alarms are activated, check, press the green check mark to clear the alarm. Verify the monitor's response to the bump test by accessing the peak and average mode. Calibration. To calibrate the monitor, attach the gray calibration adapter. Access the calibration menu by pressing the check mark button, arrowing down to highlight calibration, and press the check mark button again. Then you must do a hard zero for all sensors. After zero is complete, press the check mark button to continue and select span. If it's a standard four gas monitor with all gases in the, uh, in the cylinder, simply press all and press OK to continue. Attach hose of the regulator from the gas cylinder to the inlet of the gray calibration adapter. This process takes approximately 60 seconds. After calibration is complete, press the check mark button to continue and press the red on off button to exit back out into normal operating mode. Enforcer calibration makes calibration very simple. First, screw the cylinder into the enforcer. Verify adequate pressure in the cylinder on the gauge of the enforcer. You must first do a hard zero prior to enforcer calibration, similar to the manual calibration you saw previously in this video. After zeroing is complete, insert the enforcer by sliding the enforcer door out and placing the monitor into the enforcer. Close monitor door. The display will recognize it has been installed into the enforcer, press check mark to continue. This calibration takes approximately 90 seconds. Once calibration is complete, press check mark to continue. If the enforcer calibration fails, you will get a message on the display. Sensor cartridge replacement. 
Sensor cartridge replacement is a very simple and easy process. Simply use the Allen head screw provided with the monitor to take off the sensor cover. Use the Allen head screw to unscrew the sensor cartridge. Remove sensor cartridge. Place new sensor cartridge in and screw down to secure. Then replace the sensor cover with the two Allen screws. and turn monitor on to confirm. Battery replacement. To replace the batteries, use the Allen head screw that comes with the instrument to remove both battery pack compartments. For alkaline batteries, replace the batteries and install the battery pack back into the instrument. Turn monitor back on to confirm battery installation. 